Hey, Ray, thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Fleming, Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and this is Steel. Joining me in the video today, and uh, behind camera today, we have Stella as well, with Danilo doing his thing. Hey, we're going to walk around some Italian exoticness. You say, Tony, I've never seen a Fiat Barchetta. I remember being a Ferrari Barchetta and things like that. Well, you're right. These right here were never imported into the U.S. Finally, with uh, the date hitting the 25-year the marks, right, that we're now allowed to bring these into the country. And this is an exotic car. Why is it an exotic car? Well, let's talk about some of that. First off, these are not built in a typical Fiat plant. These are built offline by coach builders that built each one of these uh, separately. This is the launch edition. These are the first year cars. These are uh, very few of them in this color. This car has been completely repainted. Uh, as well as nice service records and, and service history owned by a body shop and a service facility place in Italy. Uh, it was sourced for us by our own Italian buyer. And uh, when we walk around this car, you're going to say, wow, that is a really great looking car. I can't believe it. So what's even better is when you're driving down the road in this car, everybody looks at it because they go, what is that thing? I've never seen that before. All right. So if you own a body shop, you're probably going to get the best paint you could possibly get. And that's exactly what we have here today. This is beautiful, beautiful paint. Uh, some areas it's called burnt orange, some tangerine, an Italian name that I don't want to butcher, that I know I would and I would apologize ahead of time for that. But what I want to say is uh, all the trim was taken off when it was painted. It wasn't like it was taped off and they painted over pieces. This is a beautiful, beautiful job. Let's check out the quality of it where you can read every single letter in the paint. You can see all of the details and that's what you want to see. Not just the letters, but how crisp the, de the detail of the letter is. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood. But first off, why is looking under the hood important? Well, of course, seeing the engine is important, but what we're looking for is something bigger than that, right? We're looking for uh, evidence of accidents, panel replacement, uh, not taking care of the car, right? So let's talk about that. So here we go. So around here, as we look around, all of the original factory decals are still in place, including the VIN tags and things like that. Decals that you can't buy anymore, right? So if this car was in an accident and the panels were replaced or something like that, then uh, those would all be gone. They're still there. Uh, the 16 valve motor in here with variable valve timing, uh, aluminum block, and all the good stuff inside here makes a little over 130 horsepower. Plenty of juice to move this car. Plenty of juice to move this car, and it has a great sound as well. And throw in modern accoutrements like four-wheel disc brakes and air conditioning and rack and pinion steering, and you have what's a genuine, genuine Italian sports car. All right, I got Steel helping me out here. And again, like the back of this car is not like anything you've seen in the United States. Like these square taillights, right? All of this here, the style, I just think it looks fabulous, right? And here's a functional, real trunk holds lots of soft luggage and things like that. It's got uh, all the detail stuff too, including the uh, original uh, spare in here, uh, a little toolkit, stuff like that. You can tell that, uh, that, that like these were built on an assembly line separate from standard Fiat cars. And it's evidence of that like quilted trunk lining. Like who puts quilted trunk lining in a car? These cars were pretty expensive for their time. And you can see why some of this stuff is much nicer than other things that are out there. All right, so come inside here. Uh, this door handles, man, you got to see the door handles of this car. All these little touches that make a car so cool are on here, like the vents under the hood, like with the black grills and the tail lights and these door handles that pop open like a switch blade. I got a little helper in here to help me out too. Make sure that I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. And uh, I do like to point out too that at 6'1", I got plenty of room in here. Uh, I do have a uh, a, a pretty large furry friend with me, maybe not so large. Uh, anyway, ergonomics. What we're talking about is a sports car where it's embossed on the dash barchetta. It's, it's in your hand, you're driving. It's got a center mounted tachometer. Like, why is that a big deal, Tone? Well, Porsche does it. People who sell and build performance cars put the tack in front because they don't care about the speedometer. The speedometer is what it is. It's just part of the process required by law. The tack says, listen, this is where we can spin it up to, shift, spin it up to, shift, wailing out the tailpipe there, but you also get some modern stuff. The stereo system is cool the way it's molded into the door panels. These door panels are all painted. Remember, this is a car built on a separate uh, assembly line by hand uh, all throughout here. Cool floor mats with the barchetta and the red, the red piping that matches outside of the paint. And you also get like air conditioning and power windows and power mirrors, like modern stuff, airbag, whatever. And uh, I don't know, I just get excited about it because you wouldn't see this driving down the road. You could go to a car show or something like that and never see another one. 
All right, so we're closing up the video on this striking Italian cool sports car, man. And you know, when you see a car, uh, like detail stuff like Pirelli tires, you say, well, Tony, who cares about Pirelli tires? They're just tires. No, you could easily put on cheap tires in here, but if it's your baby, you're going to put the best tire you can on the car. Italian tires on an Italian car, another nice touch. All fresh new paint, but imagine this. It's believed to be from the Barchetta uh, research that we've done, no guarantees, but it's believed to be one of only 21 launch editions done in orange. How rare is this car? How many are here in the United States? Could this be the only one? It could be. Anyway, air conditioning, uh, modern accoutrements, suspension, performance, and Italian great looks with that beautiful soft top that folds up and down. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you how to get this Fiat Barchetta in your garage. Don't forget to uh, like the video if you would and uh, share it with some friends. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so make sure you keep getting each and every new video that comes our way.